Hey, what's up guys? Ken here with another unboxing video. This time I'm going to be doing some Iron Man 3 movie trading cards. This is the rest of the pile from my purchase. Uh, I bought 80 of these booster packs and I have these left. So I'm like, well, let's just open them all here on the final part of the Iron Man 3 so I can get rid of them and finally open some other things. Are you guys ready? Let's see what we got here. This is a huge stack. Have you guys seen the movie? I hope you guys have seen the movie. The movie is pretty good. Iron Man kicking butt as usual. All right, we're gonna go through this quick because we got a lot of cards. All right, well, let's see if we can get some more foils to complete our foil set. And yeah, I just, I mean, I always say this, but the sound of these card packs opening is just fantastic. It just sounds great. I don't know. I don't know about, maybe it's just me. Am I just crazy? Is it not satisfying to open these card packs? Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm a little crazy. And that's perfectly fine because crazy is what makes my YouTube channel kind of interesting, I think. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to get here. Let's go quick. I'm going to do this fast. It's going to look like I'm fast forwarding this, but I'm going to do this quick. Oh, we got a foil. There we go. Boom. Oh god, everything's falling over. What a mess. <clears throat> like a scene, fighting scene in Iron Man 3. All right, we got a foil, very nice, cool, moving on. I am looking for the movie, uh, what is it, the movie costume cards? That's what I'm looking for, really. Um, or autograph cards, or, whoa. Oh, guys, this is the one card that I haven't gotten yet, wow. I don't know why this one's so rare, but this is the first one, number 23. I have a bunch of sets of these cards basically with number one through I think 50 or 60, but I have no 23s for some reason. So I finally got one. I'm really happy about that. I don't care if I find no autograph cards or anything because this is the only one I was looking for. So awesome to add that to the foil because that is indeed a rare, I guess, because it just, it just doesn't show up. I don't know why, I don't know why actually. That's, that's weird, right? I mean, that's like the only card that's missing. Oh, we got another foil, all right. This uh, final video might be kind of epic. Decent number of foils, cool. All right, moving on. We have, uh, how many packs is this? I feel like this is like 30 packs or something. It's kind of a lot. All right, let's stack these nicely here. All right, Pepper Pots, cool. And that beautiful Malibu home getting destroyed. Every single one of these cards that shows Iron Man's Malibu home is getting destroyed. And by the way, I live in LA. I don't live too far from Malibu. It is gorgeous, the weather is beautiful, you know, it's, if you guys haven't been to California, California in general, the weather is fantastic, you know, I'm sure you see like in movies, it's like beach weather and just perfect. Um, I mean, not all California is like that, like NorCal, Northern California is really rainy and, um, you know, the weather is nice. A lot of times it is nice, it's very green, it's beautiful. But LA, man, Los Angeles is something else. It's another beast. It's just beautiful. Malibu, especially Santa Monica, you know, just towards the beach, Manhattan Beach, um, Rancho Palos Verdes. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I'm sure if you guys, if any of you are from LA or have been to LA, I know, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, and this week for sure is really nice. It's actually beach weather because it's really hot. I mean, it's summer, so it should be hot, right? Especially in LA, it's gonna hit almost 100 degrees this week. And um, I'm probably gonna hit up the beach. Has anyone been playing Pokemon Go? Pokemon Go has is like an insane like, phenomena. I don't know, it, it's crazy. Like, I love it, absolutely, I absolutely love it. I grew up with Pokemon and I played in like the cards in sixth grade, I traded them. I was actually kind of like a little entrepreneur myself, like as a kid, I used to sell, pick up cards and sell them uh, to like two people, to other students and other kids and make a huge fat profit on it. Um, yeah, but Pokemon Go, that game is, wow, I can't believe how popular it is. So I, I went to the Santa Monica Pier on like a few days ago and there were, it was literally a thousand people just standing around, well, like kind of moving and playing Pokemon Go, that's it. Thousand people, I kid you not. Okay, like 95% of that thousand people, like there are very few people who were, you know, probably tourists, oh, got another foil. Probably like tourists who, are, who wanted, you know, who was there to actually see the pier. 
And then you have like, you know, 900 people just playing Pokemon, including myself. I'll admit, I, I was one of those people and it was, it was just so funny to see all these people come together to to play a game and it, it's, I don't know, it's just fun. It's like, in, you know, in these dark times, it's been, it's been really rough. Like the world has not, has seen better days, I'll say that, you know, with France and the Middle East and in the US and just a lot of really terrible, terrible things happening, you know? And to see this Pokemon game, like, really bring people together, you know, even if it is a game and something nerdy as Pokemon, but it's, it's bringing people together. That's the main, that's the main thing, you know? I feel like that's, that's gonna be like the beginning of, like, the healing process of, of all this pain and suffering in the world is just some way to bring people together, Pokemon, and just, you know, see each other as people, you know, everyone, everyone, we're all a part of one, one race, it's the human race, you know, I know a lot of people say that, but that's just true, you know, like, I, I, I can't, I still can't believe, you know, racism still exists today, it's really rampant in certain parts of the US, and even uh, in Europe, I, I never knew that, I never knew it was that bad, and um, it's because of Brexit, like, Brexit is really, um, making the worst out of people come out, and, uh, oh, there's another number 23, awesome, I'm gonna put that to the side, because I have a few sets of these cards that I want to add, so, if you guys have been watching this as I was talking, there were no, nothing interesting, there was nothing interesting, no, um, costume cards or anything, I did contact the company, so I found out, oh, there's another 23, what is going on? So I found out uh, that these packs may have been opened um, previously. And the thing is, the company I bought it from, apparently they said that they buy it from uh, somebody else, like a blowout sale or something, and they, they resell it. So uh, it's not their fault, but they were really nice. They were really nice enough to give me credit for it, uh, even though it wasn't really their fault. And I really appreciate that for them. They're they're really good, um, but it's it it's just it's kind of disappointing not buying this and not seeing anything. But at least I got most of my money back, and I made some cool videos for you guys. So yeah, so I think I think it was worth it in the end. All right, we got another foil. All right, getting a decent number of foils, but we're all, we're also bring, opening up a lot more packs than we do in the other videos. And um, my arm is actually getting kind of tired though. Jeez. The way my camera is set up, I have to kind of reach around it. I'm not really sure how else, like someone, how else other people record this, but if you guys have, you know, on the way. So basically like the camera is like right here between my arms and I'm reaching around and um, I'm sitting in my chair, reaching around and opening the pack. So if you guys have another way to do it, uh, especially you pro YouTubers out there, let me know. I'm very noob. I'm a very new uh, YouTuber. And um, I'm having a blast though. Like all this, the support has been phenomenal. Like thank you guys so much. Even just even you, like you, yes you. Just watching this video is 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 supporting my channel, you know. And I really appreciate it. And um, I I'm starting to do giveaways and stuff to you know give back to you guys. And you know I just, I'm really thankful for you guys. So. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll hear me saying that a lot, like thank you to subscribers and everything like that. All right, we're winding down here. We've got two packs left. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get anything uh, significant. Looks like probably not, but we have so many of these cards. And for the final pack, let's see what we're gonna pull. Are you guys ready? All right, Iron Man Mask, Malibu Home, Don Cheadle, eh, and that, all right. Well, in the 80 packs, I have found nothing. So if you guys buy, if you guys are interested in these cards and you guys end up buying some, make sure to buy a sealed box, like a full booster box. Um, don't buy booster packs because this movie has been out for a while now and you're probably not gonna find anything interesting. Um, yeah, or you might run into the problem of somebody opening, opening the booster or booster packs and resealing them. It's really shady, but you know, it happens. But that's fine. All right, let's see what we got in this pack. We got three number 23s, which is what we've been looking for. Surprisingly, they all came at the end right here. And we've got a few foils. Check it out, check it out. Boom. Uh, oh, poor house being destroyed. So gorgeous. Uh, I love looking at houses and 
There's so many beautiful houses in LA and massive houses like 50 million, 100 million dollar plus houses. All right, and that's the last one, Tony Stark, Iron Man. All right, well, that's it. So now the question is, what do I do with all of these cards? I have, basically I have this stack and I have another two of these stacks, two or three of these stacks. It's a, it's a ton of cards. And I actually have an idea, something fun to do with them. Uh, I would do a giveaway, but I don't think anyone's really interested in these cards. They're not that interesting. So I am going to order a BB gun tank. This little, this, well, it's not even little, it's like this big. It's a tank that you can control with your remote control or your phone, I think. And it shoots pellets, shoots BBs. And if you don't know what BBs are, they're like these little plastic pellets. Um, there's like, you know, the BB guns that usually shoot them. And I'm gonna take a tank and we're gonna set up some targets with these cards. These tar cards are really thick, so hopefully the tank is strong, but I think we're gonna have to shoot these cards. And my wife is really excited. She was actually the one who suggested it and she was saying that she really wants to buy the tank and drive it around. And you know, if an intruder comes in, she can shoot them, but I won't do anything. But look at these cards. It, I think it'll be kind of fun to shoot these cards, right? So. I'm gonna do that, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Sorry I went on a little tangent and started talking about random things, but you know, I think we need to talk about it, have a conversation about the dark things that are happening so we can bring it, you know, move past it and bring out some more joyous, joyous topics and things like that. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you to all the subscribers who have been subscribing, thank you guys so much, thank you to anyone who's thinking about subscribing. Just press the button, do it. All you gotta do is press that button. Just just do it, just press that button. It's, it's very easy, press it, press it. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye guys.